Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, haul video. There's probably going to be a lot of these. I like to buy yarn way too much. Um, but yeah. Hi, I'm Cassie, also known as Crafty Cassie on both Instagram, TikTok, Ravelry, and here on YouTube. Um, I went and shopped the Michaels clearance sale that was going on, and I got some pretty good stuff here. Some of it you've already seen, but there you saw them in different colors. Um, so I'm gonna try and make as much sense of this as possible. Um, I'm kind of organized. I'm mostly not, but so be it. Uh, okay. So. Let me just grab one here. I was just kind of organizing everything. All right, so I got more of this Eco Brights. This color is bright pink. Um, it's the same as the other Eco Brights, but I got it in the bright pink, and I have three of these. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna make with these. Maybe some sweaters, I think is what I was initially thinking about. Um, it does say it's a number five bulky. I don't... I don't think this is a number five, and this is more of a four, a worsted, um, but that's my personal idea. Um, so, I also don't like this, like, rounded cake situation that the yarn comes in. It just, like, it gets messed up so easily, personally. So, um, I have more of this cobalt blue. Um, in fact, I only have one more of this, so now I think this takes me up to two, maybe three of these, which is good, but still not a lot. Um, so whatever I use that in, I'm definitely going to have to pair it with other colors. The next one I've got here is this one, and this is magenta. Not to be confused with bright pink, which on the camera, they read the same. Now you can kind of see there's a bit of a color difference that way. Not much though. Um, this is definitely more blue toned than this is coming off. Um, and it's really hard to tell that they're different, but in person, I promise, they're completely different. So, and I've got three of the magenta as well. Now this one, the name is a misnomer, 100%. So this color's name is Aqua. This isn't Aqua. Aqua is the blue version of this. This is mint. Um, just uh, how I view it. Um, it's still a really pretty color. Um, again, I've got three of these, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. But I've got them. So just this really pretty pastel-y mint color. And then the last of the Eco Brights line that I have here from Loops and Thread is this one which is red and I have three of these as well. And I actually thought I was going to do a red, white, and blue kind of top. You know, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, all of those um, kind of patriotic like Veterans Day for sure. Veterans Day, we're celebrating all those who served, who were willing to die for our country. So, um, technically, my husband and I count as veterans. We have completed, uh, I've completed two enlistments. I'm on my third. And my husband, I want to say he's on his third now as well. This one's a long one for him, though. He signed up for six years instead of, like me, where I signed up for four more. So, um, but I've re-enlisted twice, and he's now re-enlisted twice as well. So, I kind of want to have a red, white, and blue top, you know, even if it's just a little short sleeve sweater style, you know. Or even a tank would be fun um, to wear, especially in the summertime, because... I live in Southern California now, and I need some warmer weather clothing. 
so that's the idea uh, behind maybe the blue and red um, I did not get any of the eco brights in white unfortunately I'm either gonna have to pair it with another yarn or um, think a little bit more creatively and use just the red and the blue and have it more red than blue yeah all right so we're gonna move on to this one this is impeccables um, by loops and thread um, it is Michael's 100% acrylic right Yes, 100% acrylic line. Um, just a basic acrylic. It's soft. I could probably get away with wearing this as around my neck. Um, it's number four. They recommend a five millimeter or a US H hook, or a five millimeter and a US eight knitting needle. There are 285 yards. This is 127 point five grams which is kind of a weird amount for me uh, weight wise but it's big box store I have five of these and this color specifically is lapis it's just a beautiful true royal blue um, and I thought this would make a really good pullover for myself but I may have enough here for my husband. Um, I'll have to wait and see when I get to making it. Um, it might make a really good cardigan for him. Um, he does like to layer clothing and um, he's got a weird body shape. He's really narrow and really long. So trying to find clothes that fit his length means that it's extremely wide on him. So he needs a large in length, but a, and maybe even an extra large so that he gets that extra length because after everything shrinks, it just ends up being like a belly shirt on him. And the way he stands too, he hunches. Like, I can't even, I don't even know how he does it, but he does. And it just, so everything seems shorter on his back because of his hunch that's the way he stands and it's genetic his dad stands like that too <laughs> so um yeah so I might make him a cardigan with it I don't know a lot of the yarn I buy I just buy because it's well this was all clearance so this was 70% off and I figured um at 285 yards times 5 that takes me over a thousand almost like 1200 yards so I figured why not probably more my mental math is not on point lately um, well that's closer to 1300 yards actually um, I haven't been on at work because we've been sick. So uh, usually, because my job's very math-based, um, my math is a little bit more on point. But right now it's not. So my last one that I got on no, not my last one, my second to last one, my last multi-purpose or multi-purchase. So I bought three of these, and this is also impeccable. Um, by loops and threads. This one, because it is a variegated yarn, um, is only 187 yards or 100 grams. Now that is normally what I see, like 100 grams is what I normally see for yarn um, at like an LYS or hand dyed or things like that. So to see that this is 127.5 grams, I'm just like, I don't understand. But whatever. Um, this is the color Rose Fog Variegated. So it's got pinks, creams, grays, and browns. 
and this is also a number four five millimeter across the board for knitting needles and hook. Um, and I got three of these and I plan to make a simple little baby blanket with these for donation. And the last thing I got, and I think I actually picked some of this up before, um, I think in this colorway, I'm not sure, I haven't found it yet. I've got some bags over here, as you can see I've got a hobium bag that I need to open up and share with you guys, but um, so this is Red Heart, it's a wrap. Uh, this is 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. This is 200 grams, 7 ounces, 1100 yards. And this is in the colorway Western Occidental. And it is shades of gray and taupe. This is kind of like a taupey color here. This taupey gray goes into this like really light silvery gray here on the outside. And then it's got like this beigey color on the center. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, but I like neutrals, so I probably am going to make this into a scarf. Um, it's it's a, a super fine number one, so I'll probably knit it. Um, and this says to use a 3.25 millimeter hook or a 2.75 millimeter um, knitting needle, which is a US two. Uh -huh. I'd probably would use a US 1, maybe even a 0, depending on how dense of a fabric I want. Um, I would definitely say that this is, in fact, a, a fingering weight yarn, so, um, yeah, generally with fingering weight yarn, I use a 1. But two would give me a drapier fabric, so maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It does come with a pattern, though. And the pattern's kind of pretty. So I might try that out, and more than likely, it says I only need one ball. Oh, it says it's available at redheart.com. So, in case you didn't know, Red Heart is actually owned by Your Inspirations right now. So, um, redheart.com kind of redirects you to yarnspirations.com, I think. So, um, they also own like Karen and uh, patents and all of them. So, a lot of the if it's not loops and threads, basically, it's your inspirations or Joanne's. So it is what it is. Uh, but I think that's everything. I'm going to go get this put away. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.